Hello everyone, welcome to EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, we're going to go over payroll deductions and contributions. We're going to go over how to record those deductions when you have an outside service doing your payroll, such as paychecks or ADP. Now I do have a link below um, that shows you a video on how to record paychecks from ADP. So if you're interested in that, please go to my website or to the link below. So let's talk about how to record contributions. Um, and I'm going to go over the medical health insurance, but you could do this, let's say if you have 401k or any other contribution. So I'm going to do it as I'm entering a check, like I said, if you want more details on that, um, you can go and watch my video on how to enter ADP checks. So I'm going to just quickly go through the accounts that you need and how to do it. I'm not going to focus on this top part because it's self-explanatory when you're entering a check. What we're going to focus on is the categories or the chart of accounts that we need to post in. So first of all, we need to go ahead and um, enter the first account, which is wages. And let's say the wages is 500. And I'm going to use small numbers um, so we can um, go through this uh, fairly quickly and understand um, how QuickBooks is posting it. So wages, that is your expense account. And then after the wages, you need your payroll um, deductions, your payroll liabilities. Um, so we have two accounts. We want the payroll tax payable uh, because this is what the employee pays. So this is the federal, state, social security, uh, Medicare, um, and depending on what state, I'm in California, so we have state disability. Um, so that plus the employer portion of um, the, the the paycheck goes under the liability account. So let's say overall it's $250. And I'm going to put a negative because it's deducting from the 500 and we want it to be a credit to the liability. And then we have the payroll tax expense, which is the employer's portion of um, the paycheck. So let's say the employer portion um, is $125. $125. That's the employer. And that's a positive because it is um, going to be a debit. And like I said, there's more details in my video on how to record from ADP. So now the net amount of the check would be, if we leave it at that, would be 375 because we have everything that um, the paychecks, uh, the pay stub says. We have the employee deductions, the employer um, deductions, and what the expense is. So let's say we are also doing, that's tax-wise, so let's say we are also doing health insurance. Just like we have um, a liability for taxes and expense for taxes, um, we also need that. So, but in this case, let's say that um, the employee's health insurance is $100, of which you pay $50. And the other $50 the employee pays, so that's a liability. So it will be a liability, and we have the expense and payable, the health insurance payable, because we need to deduct the $50 from, we need to deduct it from the employee. So then the net amount is 325. That's what we're going to record as the pay, um, the paycheck. Now, if we save and close, oh, there's no name, so, but we can go into the counts. When we get our bill from the health insurance company, I'm just going to enter a bill real quick, or actually, um, yeah, let me enter a bill real quick. And 
we're going to say health insurance expense, which is our $50. And then we're also going to do health insurance um, payable $50 because this is the employee portion and this is, I'm just going to write employer portion. Okay, two different accounts, the expense accounts and the liability accounts. We get a bill from our health insurance company for $100 and we record this uh, separately. And then I want to go show you, I'm just going to put health insurance. Health. I have to do a name, Cigna Health. Okay, save. Um, so I want to go show you the liability, the health insurance payable account, um, health insurance payable. So we register. And if we look at the register, this is the check. This is the increase because that's what we took out of the employee. And then once we got the bill or we can get the bill first, you know, but we always need to reconcile this liability account. And at the end of the month, uh, we want to make sure that it is equal to the zero because there should be an increase and a decrease for the liability, uh, for the liability account. And this also works if you have 401k. Um, if the employee pays and then there's a matching, that would be the expense. If we go to the expense part, so this would be health. It should only be $50 because that's the employer portion of it. As you can see, it's only $50, not a hundred dollars. It should only be 50. So I hope that this helps you record any uh, deductions, payroll deductions, contributions. When you use a third party, um, service like ADP or paychecks, I hope that you subscribe to my channel for more how to's tips and tricks and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you in the next one.